if we are uh, if, 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 if this reaction is uh, performing in a SN1 mechanism if it is following the SN1 uh, mechanism then it would have Hello everyone, welcome back to Plotus IES and as we were solving the uh, PYQ series of this UPSC chemistry optional. So today we are going to discuss a uh, next question uh, in our series. In this question we are given with a reaction over here. We are given with an alcohol and it is being converted into an halide, alkyl halides. So and we are given with the uh, this RS uh, which means the uh, configuration of this molecule we, we can see over here in this also it is having S and the product also we are getting the same configuration which means we can say that it is a retention in configuration and here this is a nucleophile and this is replacing with the another nucleophile so the replacement of one nucleophile with the other and so it looks like a nucleophilic reaction but as we know there are two type of uh, nucleophilic reaction which we have studied in S11 we get a racemic product in SN1 reaction we get a racemic product in which we will get we should have get it if, if we are uh, if, 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 if this reaction is uh, performing in a SN1 mechanism if it is following the SN1 uh, mechanism then it would have R and S both R and S because it gives us R and S both R and S because it is followed by the carbocation so both the possibilities are there either the attack from the upside or from the below thigh. other reaction is SN2 and in SN2 reaction, there is a transient state is there and we have seen the reaction is proceeded this is our OH and if we want to replace it with the Cl negative. So what will what is going to happen in this case we will have a transient state like this. Same time this OH will be leaving and this Cl will be attacking over here. So what, what happens over here we will get a inversion product. we are going to get an inversion product but when we see over here we are getting a retention product so it says that this reaction is followed by the SNI this reaction is following the SNI mechanism which is nucleophilic substitution internal substitution nucleophilic internal in the reaction we are given with some stereochemistry also H is below the plane and CS3 is above the plane this was the product and what happens over here when we react with SOCl2 when we react this reaction with SOCl2 in presence of dry ether 
in presence of dry ether, what is going to happen over here? This OH will attack over here at this position. This will goes up and comes back and this Cl will leave and we will get a product like this. And this Cl will abstract this hydrogen. This Cl negative which is released will take this hydrogen from here and we will get a product like this. And we have seen there is a retention in configuration at this side. If we, we can see over here at this place, we can very easily visualize that there is no change in the configuration in this side. So configuration remain constant. If we proceed the reaction, what is going to happen now? This bond will come over here, this will goes up, comes back and this will leave and this Cl will attack at this position. So uh, in this, uh, and we will get a product like this, ethyl Cl hydrogen and CS3 and we can see over here retention in configuration the product the desired product over here like we have seen in the questions over here yeah so we can compare by this so there is a retention in product that can be only possible with this mechanism only which I have shown you over here so uh, with the uh, in the presence of this dry ether this whole mechanism is taking place. So one important point which you need to remember over here is that no actual carbocation formation takes place. So as soon as this, uh, this o, o is going to leave, this Cl is going to attack. In the same uh, manner, it will as soon as it will uh, leave, this will attack over here. So no actual carbocation is formed in this. So that's why we are getting only one product. That is a retention product. So one important uh, reaction I can also uh, show you with this. If we are having a reagent like this, ROH plus SOCl2, you need to remember this thing. If the same reaction is proceeded with the in the in the presence of this pyridine, if we are proceeding the same reaction, let's say this the whole moiety is R, then we will say a uh, inversion in configuration. With this pyridine, we will get a uh, inversion in product. So uh, while answering, we need to remember that the re solvent over here is dry ether because if we change it with the pyridine, we will get the opposite result. So in the question over here, it was asked like uh, this is uh, how is the following con conversion taken about? It is uh, being performed with the help of S and I substitution nucleophilic internal in which the nucleophile is already present within the reaction only. And we have explained the mechanism also, the whole mechanism is taking place like this. So this is the whole mechanism, how this follows, firstly this O attacks at this SOCl2 and this uh, Cl leaves over here and this Cl is going to attack over here. Why the Cl which is over here at this place? because it is being reacted with H and it converted into SCL. So this cannot react in this place. 
but uh, uh, as i have told you in the case of pyridine in the case of pyridine this pyridine will form a salt with this hcl pyridinium pyridinium chloro chloride and from here you can get a cl negative and then can attack from the uh, back side so because this pyridine uh, can attack on this hcl and we will get again the nucleophile cl negative that will attack from the back side which is more nucleophilic than this internal cl hope this answered your question thank you